Hello, today we are checking out Shaper Box 2 by Cable Guys. Including all new versions of five powerful Cable Guys effects, Shaper Box 2 is the state of the art plugin for modern mixes and offers infinite inspiration. Control the flow of time with Time Shaper 2, automate your levels with Volume Shaper 6. Make beautiful filter sweeps with Filter Shaper Core 2, create stereo chaos with Pan Shaper 3, and work some mono to full stereo evolving effects with Whip Shaper 2. Shaper Box 2 has all the intuitive features you would expect from a Cable Guys plugin, including highly editable, drawable LFO curves, with mix control, changeable lengths, and lots more. There's even some templates to get you started. Time Shaper 2 will help you create some awesome stutter, scratch, reverse and time stretching effects. Just like a DJ working vinyl, Time Shaper 2 lets you freely manipulate the flow of time, slowing down or accelerating your music. The new version lets you manipulate time on a microscopic level with fine mode. Create vintage vinyl pitch wobbles and subtle retro tape flutter. When using the pen mode, horizontal is for delays. Drawing slopes down will cause the speed to slow and the slope going up will cause the speed to increase. If you go into the shaded area that you can see, this will cause the sound to reverse. In this quick example, I wanted to show you how you can create new melodies using Time Shaper. The horizontal lines here show where the beat jumps to a different position. This creates variations of the original source and opens up for some cool experimentation. Later on I will show you how you can assign these shapes using MIDI to a controller for a live DJ performance. I've only scratched the surface of Time Shaper 2's full potential. Here's a list of more features. Filter Shape of Core 2 lets you experience all the richness, warmth and intricacy of a high quality analog filter. Create amazing modulations and wild patterns in seconds with a drawable LFO and dynamic envelope follower on every band. Filter Shape of Core 2 is ideal to add movement to your loops, great for effects, breakdowns and builds. I like to change the length to 16 bars and make a cool sound and build up before the next drop. Included are 28 colourful filter types and a flexible envelope follower that makes the filter react to the dynamics of your original sound. You can even use the sidechain routing from other tracks to act as a trigger. And don't forget to automate the resonance too and get a more evolved and interesting sound. There are many more uses for Filter Shape of Core 2, from creating bass wobbles to isolating percussion or kick drums from a mix. Check out this list of more features. shapers, it's possible to create some incredible stereo effects with this plugin. You can add plenty of movement to your high end whilst keeping the low ends tight and in mono. Fantastic for bringing bass and drum loops to life. I love using the house effect in my productions, it's great to see it being implemented in this plugin. That's a really great touch. Simulating this effect directly in your door can really use up your processing power. Here's a quick example of using Pan Shaper 3 to make a mono drum loop sound more interesting. By 
using the multiband, I can keep the low end nice and tight, adding stereo movement to only the highs. Then I can play around with the LFO curves until I've got something I'm happy with. Here's some more features of Pan Shaper 3. Let's use the mono bass one now with Whip Shaper 2. By taking control of three bands of mid-side stereo adjustment, I can mono the low ends, really tighten it up, and at the same time widen the top end of this bass loop. This works really well with drums and layered synths too. By using the drawable LFO, epic stereo effects can be created, and also a really nice airy top end sound can be produced. Try starting a riser or a pad in mono and open it up to full stereo before a drop for a really great sounding build up. Whip Shaper 2 also has the envelope follower built in for further control and many other features too. be linked up within the box, one instance of each can be used. Let's try adding another one now. Because of this it creates a huge amount of possibilities, with loads of banks of presets that have already been made for some instant gratification. I love how these plugins have an intuitive workflow and share many features. The different pen modes, dry and wet mixes, multibands and modules can be quickly and easily mastered. Once you get the feel for one of these shapers, you feel comfortable using all of them. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a controller like this launch pad and use it to trigger MIDI effects. The software I'm going to be using is Shaperbox 2 by Cable Guys. First we need to create another audio track. This needs to be set to auto and then we need to arm it. Then we need to think about what parts we want to apply the effects to, so let's just solo them out. Then change the output from master to audio 7. On the audio track we created is where I'm going to put Shaperbox 2. add a bit more music. Okay, so first I'm going to set up a time and this is going to act as a kill switch for the effects just to return it back to normal. So we're not going to change anything, we're just going to leave it like that. These are the MIDI triggers at the bottom so let's make sure we turn them on and let's save that in. You can see it says C sharp. Let's also turn on the MIDI trigger. Send the output of that into the audio track we created. 
work on the C, which is the bottom left button on the launch pad. So let's use this to create a four bar one shot. Now although that says D, it's not actually going to play. And it'll only play when you press C. And it'll only play once. Okay, so I'm also going to add another plugin. I'm going to use Whip Shaper. And I'm going to use this to make it go into mono towards the end. That's making it go stereo, so I'm going to quickly flip it over. Maybe adjust it a bit. So going to make sure I set that to the same amount as four bars and also a one shot. And then I'm going to save that curve as well. Listening to your love. 